Right, I, about 30 years in the semi-industry, so I'm relatively new. Uh, Jigger is actually a veteran of the industry. I came in new from the side. And the side was really interesting. Uh, after uh, doing two companies in semiconductors, I retired for a while, and I was working with social entrepreneurs. And what I found, whether you're in Africa or India or in the jungles of Nicaragua, uh, if you want to enrich lives, you want to like reduce poverty, energy is at the base of it. So I was doing small like solar lanterns in, in, in Africa, um, mini grid uh, biomass power plants in remote villages in India, or hybrid wind solar panel uh, uh, power installations in the jungles of Nicaragua. So energy was, became really key. And, and when I was working with all these uh, social entrepreneurs, I fell in love with solar. I mean, it was, and it might have been because it's a semiconductor device. <laughs> <So> <laughs> it really does go back. It's a diode. You know, a lot of people believe that. In fact, people in solar like to say, we're not semiconductors, but it is a semiconductor device. So it actually, my 30 years of work and the study wasn't completely wasted in my second career. I mean, I could latch on to everything I learned. And a lot of it did, uh, you know, uh, kind of, transfer over in terms of what you could do in, in solar. But I, I, I did that for several years, and uh, there's some really notable companies in the energy space and uh, developing countries were developed then. Uh, but I ended up wanting to see things at the scale, a little bit like you're saying, like, how do you bring this to scale? And uh, so I, I don't know, made a mistake, or it was an exciting thing, take your pick, going into venture capital. <laughs> so <laughs> I spent a few years in venture capital trying to figure out how to bring these technologies to scale. And I focused 100% on solar at that point. I, I really made a, a, you know, my transition point in my career was technology's cool, and I worked in technology for 30 years. Uh, but it was really technology for technology's sake. And a lot of my customers were either in Japan or Korea, South Korea or Germany. I mean, these were really successful countries and successful companies already. Uh, but I really wanted to see technology benefit humanity in a more direct way. And I saw solar is a, a way to really do that. It's not just technology for technology's sake, but it can have a profound positive impact.